So today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I am using my palette with Morphe and I know, okay, so crazy thing, this intro might be like 58 minutes long, so I will leave like a little note in the description box letting you know when the tutorial actually starts. Also, excuse my voice, I think I'm losing my voice, it's a little raspy. I spent all night screaming. <laughs> that sounds really bad. It's not what I meant. I was recently at Halloween Horror Nights and I scream for everything. If you try to scare me, I'm gonna scream at the top of my lungs, like that's my reaction is to scream. So I spent all night screaming. So my voice is a little bit raspy, but anyway, so ever since the palette launched, you guys have been asking me to post tutorials using the palette. I've seen so many of you guys on Instagram and on Twitter tweet me that you got the palette, which is so amazing and so exciting. So this tutorial is using this palette and it's for those of you who have this palette, who are getting this palette in the mail. I know it's sold out, so you cannot currently get it right now, but this look is for those of you who already got it. I am trying my absolute best to get this palette back in stock. So it is limited edition, and a lot of people were so mad at me that it sold out so fast, but honestly, it, that, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I have collabed with other brands in the past, ColourPop, Makeup Geek, my Makeup Geek palette, my highlighting palette, it is limited edition. It just hasn't sold out. Once it's gone, it's gone. The same thing goes with this palette. I was so shocked to see that it sold out within two days. I did not expect that. Trust me, we got a lot of palettes. We got a lot of palettes. A lot of people were mad at me like, how can you order so little? But we didn't, we ordered so many. I just didn't expect this. Which thank you so much for supporting me and for buying the palette, you guys blew me away. I cannot believe, I cannot believe it sold out like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. Even those of you who didn't buy the palette, thank you for your support, for your kind words. I love you so much. I am trying so hard to get this back in stock at least one more time. I will let you know on Twitter and on Instagram, so follow me on those platforms. I have been talking to the owners of Morphe and I'm gonna try to get it back one more time for you guys so that we could at least do a second round because I didn't anticipate it selling out so quickly. So I feel like it would only be fair to bring it back at least one more time so that those of you who didn't get a chance to buy it will get a chance to buy it. That is my main priority right now, is trying to get it back. I'm doing everything I can because I just, I hate disappointing you guys, you know? So hang tight, I'm gonna do my best, I will update you. But if you do have this palette or it's coming to you in the mail, this is the look I created today. I used the greens in the palette, I kind of mixed them both to get this like really pretty emerald look. This is my favorite way to use the greens in this palette. They're really, really pretty on their own, but mixed together, they are magical. I love the combination of the two, so that is what I did today, and yeah. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with priming my eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion that I always use. And then I'm going to jump into the palette and I'm going to use this bone color to kind of set down the primer, make sure it's not sticky and that everything blends smoothly on top. So on a fluffy crease brush, I'm taking this peachy orange shade and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm putting this pretty much everywhere on my crease. And then I'm gonna go into this little mustard fella right here. And I'm gonna take another blending brush and really focus this into my crease and just blending those two shades together. Now I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna dip it into this color right here. It's a very mossy green, has a lot of brown to it. And I'm gonna apply this to my entire lid. And then I took a fluffy crease brush with no additional product and blended out those harsh lines. Then I applied this green eyeshadow right on top. So I used the same brush, only I flipped it over. And applying this eyeshadow on top creates kind of like a really dark emerald look. I really love these two shadows paired together. And then I dipped the brush back into that little mustard shade and I'm using this to blend everything out, making sure all the colors look nice and blended into one another. Going back into the palette, I'm gonna take this cool tone gray brown and I'm gonna use kind of like a smaller crease brush and I'm focusing this color on the outer parts of my eyes and I'm also dragging this into the crease just so that they all mesh well together. I feel like it was missing something so I added a little bit of that cool tone brown. And then I went back into that mustard shade and I'm just, you know, blending away. Just lots and lots of blending. Going back into this bone color, I'm gonna use this to highlight underneath my brow bone. So I took a little bit of that eyeshadow and then I dipped my brush into this really intense 
highlighting shade, but I didn't apply a lot. So just a little bit of that underneath my brow bone just to give it a little bit something extra. And for my eyeliner, I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner number 77. I am like the world's worst eyeliner drawer or whatever, you know? It's really hard to do this on camera, so just apply a wing or don't apply a wing. Do whatever you want, but I just applied kind of like a smallish, medium-sized wing. And then I decided to move on to the face before finishing up the eyes. I primed my face using the NYX Angel Veil Primer, and then the foundation I'm using is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is in the shade Creamy Vanilla. This is like extremely yellow. I have a neutral to yellow undertone, but this is like yellow. But it doesn't look so bad in the end after applying concealer and all of that. So the concealer I'm using is the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Concealer. This is in the shade Fair and I'm doing one side at a time because it is a very matte concealer and it dries very, very quickly. So I added a little bit more and this is very brightening but it covers really well. I love this concealer and then I applied some of the Wet n Wild highlighting and concealing pen right on top just to balance out the color because the foundation was just a little bit too yellow for me. So I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender. And then to set down that concealer, I am using my favorite RCMA No Color Powder. Okay, so to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna dump, dump, whoa, that's not what I meant to say. I'm gonna jump into the mustard shade again and I'm using kind of a thicker pencil brush and I'm applying this to my lower lash line. And then I took the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Teaspoon and I'm applying this to my waterline. And I know, I'm like pulling on my eyes here. I never do that, I'm so sorry, but I was just trying to apply it as pigmented as I could. So um, to create a little bit of darkness underneath my lower lash line, I took that dark green shade on a tiny little pencil brush and really smoked out that color. And then I applied some more of that mustardy shade just to tie everything together and to smoke it out a bit. For mascara, I am taking the Essence Lash Princess on my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna apply some inner corner highlight with this super intensifying highlighting shade in the palette. It's my favorite for my inner corners. I think it's stunning. So I applied that to my inner corners and then I popped on some falsies. These are the Eyler Lux like faux mink lashes and they are really beautiful. Um, to add some black to my tight line, just so that everything looks nice and black, I used the Essence Smoky Liner in Smoky Black. So let's contour the face, shall we? This is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Light, and I'm using this to contour my cheekbones. This has just become my ultimate favorite contour powder of all time. This new like light shade, it's my favorite. It chisels out the cheeks like nothing. I love it, it's perfect. And then to just warm up the skin a bit, I took the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer in the shade Totally Tan. And this just warmed up my skin a little bit because the Kevin Aquan powder obviously is a little bit more cool toned. I also took some of that on my neck so that everything matched nicely. I feel like I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Okay, so for blush, I am taking the Jouer Powder Blush in the shade Rose. Very beautiful, pinky, mauve color. Very beautiful, I love it. And then I'm gonna take the J Cat Triple Crown Baked Eyeshadow in the shade, um, what is this called? Dulce de Leche, that's right. It's in the shade Dulce de Leche and I'm using this to highlight my face, my nose, my cupid's bow, all that good stuff. For lips, I took the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade Natural, and I just lined my lips and I also filled it in with this lip liner. And then to go right on top of that lip liner, I took the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Bettina. It's a similar color, only the NARS lip pencil is more purple. So yeah, that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I have been talking to the owners. I have been talking to the owners.